oh, you just loves to see it. You love hopping in that queue and seeing seven of eight and knowing you're going to be, I guess you're going to be seven of eight. That doesn't change. Okay. Mm. Pretty medium pack. We have an Atali. We have a Fury. An Ashen Rider. I kind of like Atali here. Ancient Tomb, also not terrible. Exhum, also not terrible. I kind of just want to take a Tali. Like, I want to take cool cards that are fun to play. I think Fury is better. I could also take Thraben Inspector. I'm going to take the Atali. We're going to figure out how to cast an Atali. Volcanic Island is a good start. Thoughtseize is good. Glorybringer is good. Skull Clampo is good. Solitude is pretty cool. This pack's actually really sweet. It's a bunch of really good medium cards like Solitude, Teferi, Volcanic Island, Glorybringer. Um, I think. Can we flip this guy? Yeah, they're all they're all Phyrexian mana costs, right? What is that? 10? So nine mana and two life is what we're looking at here. Um I don't recommend going reading going. Oh god. What happened in the chat, dude? I kind of like Solitude. I think Solitude is the best card. If Teferi comes back or Volcanic Island, I'll be very glad about that. But this puts us in like a really weird red-white position. I think that's actually okay. We could be Jeskai. Do we take Balance after seeing Zurin Orb or do we take Mystic Confluence? Look, there. this is the auto-select because they know that A, it's what we want, and B, we were just talking about going Jeskai. So... I think we're going to take balance and try to build around a balance. Uh, now we're probably just taking Stoneforge Mystic and seeing what we can get with that. Okay. If Intrepid, Ad Intrepid Adversary or Showdown of the Scalds comes back, I'll be very, very okay with it. Maybe we're just a red-green aggro deck with a cool top end of Atali. <laughs> Blinking Solitude or Atali seems pretty good. I'm going to take this Flicker Wisp and hoping Rampage and Raptor comes back. I do like a Fiery Confluence a lot. Also Resto for the same reason I like Flicker Wisp. I'm going to take Resto because I don't think we have to commit to Atali currently. I like a Reprieve. I also do like Inspired Vantage if we're, if we're going this this red white train are we going the red white train that's the question what i think it's either inspiring or reprieve i think i like taking inspiring vantage i think i like seeing what our options are here i don't want to get rid of atali i don't think fury's coming back though that would be a little too good <laughs> Oh, Sun Titan's interesting. Wandering Emperor is probably the pick here, right? Yeah, let's take Wandering Emperor. That, that seems great. So I got a card here, and it was in a weird TCG player envelope, but it's a Call of the Ring. So here's what happened. I bought a Call of the Ring from TCG player. And, um... Thank you! Wow, Thraben Inspector came back. Stormrix, thank you for the gifted subs, buddy! Oh my goodness, really, really appreciate it, my dude! Oh my thank god, you. what a saint. Well, we're taking Thraben Inspector, especially with Resto and Flickerwisp. Zurin Orb came back. 
Thank you. Oh my God. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much, man. Definitely hit the sub goal. That's <laughs> times two. Um, we have balance. Thank you. Let's take Zorb. I'm not going to play it. No, oh, Giver of Runes? Okay. Well, Intrepid and Showdown came back. Both Thank of our choices. <sighs> I think it's probably just better to take Intrepid Adversary here and kind of Ixnay the white, or the red, rather. It's just Factory is actually fine if we're mono white. Okay, well. So basically, my story was, I ordered this, and then the seller sent it to me. And I have this problem with uh, with my post office. It's not, it's not a problem. They just require the exact shipping. So a lot of times, magic cards get flagged. And I need to pay 40 extra cents because a forever stamp is like 60 and I have to pay the extra 40 because it's non-machinable. So you need to pay the dollar for the non-machinable stamp and I just pay the difference. So I have to go to the post office. I have to pay the 40 cents and I have to pick it up and it's kind of a pain. So I message them and I'm like, Hey, just want to let you know, I have to pay the 40 cents to pick this. I think this one's like 62 cents. It was actually a little bit more. And I'm like, you know, it's not a huge deal, but it happens a lot and it gets, it's kind of a frustrating thing to have to do because I either have to keep change at home and put it back in the mailbox, which I never have, or I have to just literally go, okay, cool. I'll, I'll even play Gideon or I'd have to drive 12 minutes to the post office and back, which is like a 40, 40 minute round trip. Like it's kind of a pain in the ass. Well, we're definitely taking Mox Emerald, even though I guess there's nothing I'm like super, I was kind of tempted to take Talisman because we really don't have a reason not to play this. But yeah, if Savai Triumph, Talisman, or Mentor comes back, I think that's pretty good. But yeah, I'll take a colorless mox. Um, so I messaged them, and then when I actually got the card back, after I picked it up, I was like, oh, it's a regular Call of the Ring. That's unfortunate. So they actually got the card wrong, and I had to pay for the shipping. So I told them, I was like, hey, also the card is wrong. Like, this is the extended art version, and I ordered, I ordered the extended art version, but you gave me the regular version. And so they were like, Hey, totally sorry. We're going to refund your order. And we're just going to, we're just going to buy the card from someone else on TCG player and have it sent to you. So that's what this one is. So they refunded my order and I got the extended version and I got a regular call of the ring. So super great service. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Umazawa's Jite here. Cause I want to have something for Stoneforge. but yeah, it was like, it was a, such a great outcome. I was just super thrilled. And I'm going to, let me, I'm going to look right now and see what this, who the seller was. Cause I want to make sure I give them proper credit. Um, I <laughs> really tempted to take Palantir here. Also, if Gideon comes back, I'll be glad. I like Lauren of the third path as well. God, Palantir. So I'm gonna take Lauren. I don't have any, uh, Artifact destruction here. Um, uh, I mean, the odds that you guys are going to be able to like go to TCG Player and find this seller and buy from them specifically is low. It was TAS Card Cupboard, T-A-S-S-S, -S -S. TAS, TAS Card Cupboard. Um, just like fantastic service, like made up for it tenfold. I could take this Rogren Triome and splash the red. March of Otherworldly Light, also pretty good. Hello, my dear. Did Megan, did Megan leave or is she, are you guys, I assume you, if you're, if you're logging into the chat, you're probably alone now. Yeah, we'll take the March. It's got to be better than like a random land. A rando lando. Uh, Lura seems pretty good for us. Oh, also being able to cast Intrepid Adversary from your graveyard while also kicking it seems pretty good. Look, right now I'm taking my own Intrepid Adversary, so we're going to take Lurus here. That is a late channel. No one has any respect. 
Um, I mean, Zerda actually makes Umazawa's Jitte cost less, and it's still a 3-3 three, three for 3. I think that's actually pretty decent. There's also a Basalt Monolith, which is super ironic, because that's the combo. I think it's the only white card here. I actually, I'm not a huge Parallax fan. Parallax Wave fan. <sighs> we do have a green Mox, that's true. If Rob was still here, we could take it to Savannah. I don't know if... Actually, we can take Cigar to here. And then maybe lean into, like, a green splash. I mean, what else are we going to take here, you know? Yeah, I'll take a Cigar to. Yeah, I think Parallax Wave is fine. I just... I think it's very fragile. There's not a ton of ways to really navigate it. Um, Talisman came back. So did Monastery Mentor. Oh, look. There he is. There he is, that old so-and-so. Oh, I like a Steel Seraph here. That's fantastic. I'm really hoping we can get one of our two living living weapons in the next pack. I'm going to take this Gristlebrand because no one deserves to have it if it's coming this late. What was that, 1926? What was that? 50? Oh, wow, Leshnorn? I actually considered playing Leshnorn. We have a Mox? We can play it. Birthing pod. Huh. Comical. Yeah, I'm glad we took this solitude. White seems good. Candelabra, huh? Someone's going to last pick Mizzix Mastery. I would rather someone live their dream with Mizzix Mastery than with uh, Candelabra. Mizzix Mastery is going to let you do fun things. Candelabra is going to let you do degenerate, one-sided things. That's my feeling. Mana Vault seems pretty good, especially when we have... Gideon didn't table. That's interesting. Yeah, especially when we have, like, Wandering Emperor, Gideon, Steel Seraph. We have a, a, several cards that could take advantage of a Mana Vault. And based on the white, Skyclave Apparition could come back. That seems like an easy pick. So does Palace Jailer, to be honest. I would love a Fractured Identity, but we really don't have any efficient ways to splash it. So we're going to take the Jailer, because that guy's OP. Still no Living Weapons, so we'll take Council's Judgment, one of the better removal spells in the format. Jail him! Oh, we're going to take him to jail, Daniel. Daniel Snacks. That's my boy, D-Snacks. Come on, germs. Give me my stupid germs. Where are my germs? They're my germs, and I want them now. Is it just this one drop? The NPR tone of your voice made me doze off. Thank you. I appreciate you saying so. Next, we're going to be looking at the pick of Usher of the Fallen, perhaps. If we're feeling spicy, maybe it's a Spara's headquarters. We'll be right back. Um... Are we aggressive enough to take this, or do we just take this? It helps us with a cigar if we want to play that. It also does let us splash any future cards. I'm going to take this. I don't think we need an Usher. Where are my living? Just kidding. Got to run catch later. Wow, that's, that's rude. Well, we're going to take Paolo here.
Wow. Infinite colorless cards in this pack. No living weapons. I think our I think our luck's run out, unfortunately. God, Stoneforge is so much worse when you just have Jitte. Sour Paragon's pretty decent though. Yes! <laughs> Thank God. Oh man, I'm so excited. That's fantastic. Yep, come on over. Come on over, you sweet fat germ. That's exciting. Got that fat little germ. Fascinating. Probably just wins of abandon here, right? I don't think we're lingering souls gets a lot worse when you can't actually kick it. Can I kick it? Well, Skyclave Apparition did not come back, so we'll take the Kenrith. This is 26 playables. We need some cuts. Give me damn cuts. It might be mentor. I don't think we have enough non. Could also be Sigardo. Like, there's really no reason to Let's fuck up our mana base. Although this card's pretty good. It lets us cast angels and humans from the top of our library. And we have angel, 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 human. I, I literally highlighted flicker whisk because I was like, let me see if that's a, let me see if that's a human. Yeah, I'll take a karmic guide. Sure. Uh... Lauren, human, 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 and then two more humans. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Swaggy Bay for Katie. We could also just play it too. Like we have eleven angels slash humans in the deck. I think that's a good amount. Oh wait, Palace Jailer. Never mind. Twelve. <laughs> yeah, this seems good enough to play. You put two core in that pile. Oh, shit, he's right. Giver is gone. And Stoneforge Mystic is gone. Dang it, Stuart. Dang it, big stew. All right. That was impressive that you caught that so quickly, though. For someone who I didn't think, like... Oh, well, here, I'll put Mother of Runes instead. Last pick Mother of Runes? That's insane. Now we have Mother and Giver. Wow. This deck is really sweet now. We're going to take a Leshnorn out. You're too big. I feel like Mentor can probably come. We're definitely taking Balance out. We're not a Balance deck. Oh my god, Karma God is an angel. Fuck, he's so smart. He's so smart. Yeah, this deck's looking sweet, man. Um, I think we definitely play Misha's Factory as well. Uh, Zerda kind of feels a little unexciting, right? How many activated abilities are you really discounting here? I think it's literally just equip costs. Unfortunately, this is one of the few that does not benefit. If it was Grim Monolith, we can go infinite. If it was Basalt Monolith, we can go infinite. But it's Mana Vault. We could also crack a clue for free. This is not an activated ability. Stoneforge Mystic is free. Ah, uh, yeah, Zerda's not super exciting in this deck. I think Monastery Mentor is kind of not exciting either. Assuming we're not casting this, how many cards do we have that will trigger Monastery Mentor? Yeah, like six. It's not great. Plus, we still have 16 creatures, plus a Cauldre Complete, plus Wandering Emperor, plus Gideon Jura. Like, we have a ton of creatures. I think this is a pretty solid 23 here. 
I don't mind Winds of Abandon or Karmic Guide. Man, getting Giver and Mother and having Calder complete for Stoneforge is just chef's kiss. Is this worth messing up the mana for? I don't know, man. Like, being able to cast angels and humans from the top is, seems really good. I could see replacing with Karma Guide just to keep our mana straight. Because right now we only have two sources of green. Yeah, I think it's Karma Guide instead. That's unfortunate, but it feels better. We only have Sparrow's headquarters. And I don't want to be adding forest to this deck. Mox Emerald is as green as I'm getting. 15. Why would you add 14? Like they had 14, but oh, one swamp for Luris. Gotcha. Gotcha. Can I kick it? This seems good. This is also technically a three drop if we want it to be. If you make this a three drop and you blink it, it just becomes a five four, right? Because that seems pretty cool. Unfortunately, Restoration Angel cannot blink Steel Seraph because it is an angel. And Resto doesn't blink non-angels. Doesn't blink angels. She blink she only blinks non-angels. Nailed it. Can I kick it? Can I kick it? Yeah, we'll keep it. Roll that beautiful planes footage. They did mold a six. Tithe Taker and Delirus into Palace Trailer seems like a good curve. But I'm no expert. Just kidding, I'm totally an expert. <laughs> okay. Going down to s <laughs> Sure, you got it. Let's draw Mother of Runes. Okay. Wow. What is this? What's this? I can't believe Knight of the Reliquary. This is all very fascinating here. This is cast, right? Yeah. Just checking. All right. I heard you take Swaggy Bay. I did it. This is there's a memory of your bad day in memory. Uh, out of respect for your bad day? I don't know what the... I mean, I'm really hoping they just don't have something that lets them recur strip mine because that's never fun. 
exploration and a strip mine. This is the other thing. Like, I feel like taking five mana briber out of the queue, but leaving in strip mine recursion for strip mine is just astronomically less fun. I would rather lose to a big fat Eldrazi than having all my lands destroyed. Oof. No land hits, huh? Okay. That's that's pretty good for us, I guess. I got to play top though. You go into PAX? No, I actually had an, I think I talked to you about this. I had an invitation to go to PAX and I was definitely considering it, but I think like I saw a bunch of, a bunch of friends got back from Gen Con and they got COVID and like there was a new strain going around. I just, I was kind of leery about making a trip that was as big as PAX. But we can FaceTime while you're there, and then I can just feel like I'm there with you. I mean, I have to presume they're going to chain lightning this Lurus, right? Because it's really good. Oh, they won the flip. God, the rich get richer, you know. Oh, look, they did it. <laughs> I guess because I could have waited. Like, that makes them forced. They're forced to kill this guy instead. But I don't know. I want to do stuff. I want to go fast, you know? God, they're putting so many lands in the graveyard. Oh, fascinating. And they have no creatures and they're losing. Oh yeah, they're getting a land back to like Karn here. That's pretty good actually. Don't like that. Yeah, that's that's not ideal. That was a pretty good turn. Hmm. Well, we can Palace Jailer this and then hit Ren. Or Yeah, we can. Yeah, let's let's do that. That feels like kind of what we have to do here. Or we can hit the Karn. Because otherwise they make another 4-4, four four, which is not great. Well, that gives us two things to do next turn. Presuming they don't strip mine us, which they you. might. And they, they won the flip again. Oh, what up, Chorwit? It has been a minute. One whole minute. Uh, Which one do I want to give you? Forest. I mean, I think I might just take a hit and let them become the Monarch for a turn. Oh, we're at 14 of our daily sub goal. If you guys were one sub away from 300%ing it, so that's kind of cool. <laughs> oh, 
I like how several, like, like a minute later, you're like, oh, if it isn't Senor Frank, you knew it was me. I do feel like we're a little behind, unfortunately. Oh God, okay. Maybe I should have given him the, well, I guess Marsh Flats is very, very likely a forest in their deck. They got a lot of planeswalkers here. Yep, that's a creature, all right. Check in real quick. Uh, I will not be blocking five five. Sure, I'll just take eight. Not ideal, but thank you. Oh, Spencer Carlson with the Risa of fifty two months. Did I just do this last stream? I don't know. Thank. You. I don't know. It's possible. Oh, Stuart with the gifted sub. I didn't even see that one. Now I did. Now I did. Oh my god, you guys are wonderful. But now we're at 320%. So what's the what's the point? We might as well just quit. Man, you guys are awesome. Thank you guys. Really appreciate you. I made a rock modern deck, but it's pretty bad without the Bowmasters and Sagas that I can't afford. Magic's hard, man. Also, once you said modern deck, it's like, yeah, it's going to be pricey. So they have four planeswalk, three planeswalkers that are very good. Oh, poops. I feel like we're very poorly positioned right now. Baby, check your messages. Like, we can't even get by this 3-3, three, three, you know? So I can blink this guy, get rid of this guy, but then, like, they still have the both of these Planeswalkers. Yeah, well, maybe it's still fine. Yes. I would like to once again be the monarch. I'm once again asking you to let me be the monarch. You're going to tap it in response. Sure. Let's go to the next step. Would you like to utilize your mana? You're just topping. Got it. Tapping and topping. Are there non-elimination cube drafts? Yeah, this I'm literally in one right now. This is a vintage cube draft. The league drafts are all non-elimination. They're they're Swiss. You play three rounds. I purchased two modern decks and was like, that will be all of my intense magic spending. That was six years ago. <laughs> How did that work out for you? Oh, you know. Let's, no, no, no. Let's kill that Karn. Karn's the only one that gives you real card selection right now, so. It gives you Karn selection. <laughs> 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 Uh, 
I am dead inside. Draw a card. Cauldron complete, coming off the top. Oh, that's that's decent. Are any of their creatures or planeswalkers artifacts or enchantments? I don't think so. Oh, wow. Okay, fast bondo. Did they get strip mine back? No. Where is the strip mine? It's in the graveyard. Got it. Your regrowth. Escape. That's pretty good. They're going to be escaping. Okay, Zurin Orb. Oh, Crucible of Worlds. Well, that's a combo. Do they get to do that right now? One, two, three. Yeah, they just get the Crucible strip minus. Yeah, that sounds fun. That sounds like just, just the best. Well. Other permanents you control have Hexproof. I'm actually tempted to kind of bring this in now. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna bring in three of these. And then one Spara's headquarters. Save the salami simulacrum for your mommy. I wonder if, mm, I don't know if I want to be balancing them. Do we take anything out? What do we take out? Nothing yet? Okay. God, I sure wish Salty could kick a Planeswalkers, you know? This can hit Planeswalkers, right? Artifact Creature Enchantment? Jesus. Well, my cards hit Planeswalkers. I guess Council's Judgment does. <laughs> oh, the Salami Simulacrum. I think we just 41 it. Sure, we got we got mana vault. We're breaking even on the mana, you know? Give me planes, mox, emerald, stone forge, turn one. Planes, mox, emerald, stone forge. Gotta will it into existence, you know? Never 41, bro. Dan, please. You're embarrassing yourself here. Dan, I'm trying to get a, a Starfield key. I registered for the for the Starfield campaign as a as an influencer slash content creator, and I'm trying to trying to get a sweet star Starfield key so I can stream it for thousands of hours. I don't work there. <laughs> that wasn't me like, Dan, can you as a as a I think you work at Bethesda, can you get me a key? Dan, honestly, I'll take any... I've actually heard the new Armored Core is really, really good. Is that true? He's going to be like, no, it's terrible. I will keep this hand. We'll get rid of Karmic Guide. What did you do on it? What have you done on Armored Core? 
Do you have writing credits? Oh, wow. New Armor Core has 9 out of 10. That's impressive. Let's check this Metacritic score. 86? Pretty good. Um, Just play this guy and play this guy. Might as well get in there, right? They're not going to block with this guy and... I'm sure they're not going to try to kill our Thraven Inspector. Now that I can't talk about. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Okay. I appreciate your, your secrecy. Forty one is so much worse than forty. No. No. You guys just sound like big old dum-dums. <laughs> yeah, I was like, sure, Garner, how dare you? You've been here long enough to to accept the ways. There's that Zorb. Absorb the Zorb. What'd they get? They got Sacred Foundry? Sure. Tithe is interesting because if they try to sack their lands on their own turn, or on, is it on our turn? During our turn. They wouldn't do that. That doesn't make any sense. They're fine. It's less interesting now. I feel like we're pretty poorly positioned against this deck because this deck is kind of broken. Deck's broken? Well, we're not going to do very well here, are we? Getting in there with Giver of Runes is something you would never do if this was Mother of Runes. 41 is opting into a statistical disadvantage. Well, actually, yes. Okay, bucko. Well, that's the worst thing we could have drawn here. Let's crack this guy, I guess. Come on, little guys. Do the deed. See, the best part about having a bunch of creatures that you don't care about is like, like it just turned Giver of Rune sideways. Shua Garner, happy birthday next week, buddy. In case I missed it somehow. 49? Good, good lord, man. I would have not have thought you were 49. Grandpa? Wait, did they just... They just sell three to everything? Why? I don't get it. <laughs> I'm very confused. Give me a land, please, Gideon. Gideon, Gideon. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Thinking sends the 41. <laughs> That's why they did it for three? That's wild. I would have done two to my dome, you know? 
Like nothing is, nothing has three toughness. I don't understand. I'm the oldest of five and my brother is four years younger than me. He's about to become a grandfather for the third time. I think that broke my brain. That's like a math problem from high school where it's like, if Dennis is the oldest of five kids and his brother is four years younger than Dennis and he's a grandfather, how old is Dennis and how, what's the age difference between Dennis? Like, you're like, Oh Jesus God. I feel like it just broke my brain. <laughs> yeah. Make sure you keep this strip mine up. You don't want me to. Sure. That's incredibly unfortunate. Oh, I did not see that. <laughs> so. <laughs> Good Lord. I thought the answer was 42. I thought 42 is the answer to everything. Cool. All right. So. Well, I guess we get to eat Chandra. So that's pretty cool. I almost tempted to just play Palace Jailer just to get the, to start getting the. I think that's correct. I mean, drawing an extra card every turn seems good. Uh, place this one on the stack. Oh yeah, that's a that's a spicy meatball. Especially because they're kind of mana screwed here. They've missed they've missed one land drop, but you know, now they haven't. So they've actually hit all their land drops. Good for them. Sure, that's fine. Pretty sure we just block here. It doesn't feel great, but I'd rather the extra card from this and Palace Jailer's outlived his usefulness. Oh, Mana Vault, that's interesting. Well, we're one mana shy of being able to cast Calder Complete, which would have been really sweet. We might just go Mana Vault Elite Spellbinder. We could also go Mana Vault Gideon. Yeah, you play 41 so that you can deck them and then you yourself don't get decked. Crucible, Karn, <laughs> Regrowth. Sure. We'll take a Karn. They could just go Regrowth and then play Fiery Confluence again to kill both our guys. That seems pretty bad. Eternal Witness. They have double of those, though. We'll just take this. Hmm. Fascinating. I am fascinated. Sure. It's 
So we know these two and whatever you drew this turn. <laughs> Okie dokie. Wow, that's very cool. I mean, Crucible wasn't as threatening when they didn't just top deck a fast bond, so. This is infinite life, right? Yeah. Okay. You got it. Well, that was not our ideal game one, unfortunately. It's always the damn Crucible shenanigans. <laughs> I mean, that's, that might be like the first crucible shenanigans I've faced in this whole, the whole two weeks that the queue has been up so far. Yeah, they get infinite life, they get infinite mana, and they get to kill all my lands with strip mine. So I guess we lose. I don't know. Hard to say. We're playing against Bobo555 Sad. I give that zero Borts. Yeah, I think zero Borts is even too generous. I give them negative Borts. Well, Bobo555 Sad has not shown up yet, so it's too bad. They have arrived. I will keep. Two lands, three plays. What more can you ask for? I don't know, Mox or Mana Vault. You know, one of these beautiful accelerants that we have so many of. That ain't it. My son is also named Bort. I think Kerwin, Kerwin in the past week or so has had a, an, an, an I really ridiculous obsession with, with the name Bort. He made a Diablo 4 guild called My Name is My Son's Name is also Bort. <laughs> oh good. Well, it's not what we're looking for. No, I don't like it. Well, I guess... Wait, did they not get anything? So they must have it in their hand. So getting rid of this seems pretty important, no? Yeah, it does. So I'll exile a Carmi guide and cast it and then i pay one and then i hit done and then it goes away see you later so like my whole plan was activating stoneforge mystic Three mana, huh? Well, that guy's obnoxious. I feel like our deck is missing something. I liked our black, black, white version better. I do not think we're going to have as good of luck with this version as we did with the mono blue version that we that we just three oh six owed with. Fantastic. My son is also named Bort. Um, yeah, I want to crack this because I want to hit lands here. And look, we did. Well, at least we're on the right track. If we draw Mana Vault, it's pretty cool because then we can play Gideon. 
we are in a similar situation now where our stone forge will also get a pyritic ritual. What is happening right now? Wow. You literally just played this to gain one extra mana. This is very good. Oh, biscuits. I think we're just taking it here because I want to be able to equip Umazawa's Jitte if we hit another land. Which is the best Eminem? If you stay plain, I will ban you. <laughs> I'm a big fan of mint Eminems. Isn't peanut butter just strictly better than peanut? And by strictly, I say I mean I like them better, so they got to be better, right? <laughs> Jesus. So it is. So so it's strictly better then. Got it. Got it. Appreciate the clarification and agreement, Dan. Really glad to have you here. Uh yeah, all right. We have blue crunchy M&Ms. What is that? What is a blue crunchy? What does it taste like? What's the taste of a blue? It doesn't taste like a fruit, right? I am very curious. Doretti. Well, that's unfortunate. Wait. Oh, fantastic. This does not work the way they want it to, because now we get to kill this guy in response, and they have not fulfilled the criteria. Hmm. What's the play here? Next time we can play Palace Jailer and get rid of their guy. And then we can just keep up. Yeah, let's do that. And then we'll just kill whatever they equip. So that we no longer have to feel oppressed. We could also just play Gideon here. And then they have to attack Gideon, but they will, in fact... No, they actually wouldn't kill Gideon. They would equip this, and we can kill. We can still kill whoever they equip. God, Jitte being whenever it deals damage is unreal. Attack of the Spaghetti. Attacking a planeswalker, get counters. Attacking a creature, get counters. Attacking a player, still get counters. Blocking, still counters. Okay, so we can play Palace Jailer gets rid of this guy. Whoever they equip, we can kill. Um, or we can play Gideon, kill this. Oh, if we kill this, he dies. So I think we're we're leaning towards Palace Jailer here. Plus, we get to be the monarch for a turn. But then they get their guy back. Yeah, that's annoying. Lots of sadness right now. I think we just wanted to unequip this so that whoever they attack with. It's weird how in all these games you haven't been able to draw your second. Yeah, and I'm still doing okay. Really weird, right?
Him to Toroch. Uh, well, those are my two best cards, that's for sure. This one I can't cast, and this one doesn't really do much here, so... Oh no, I've made a terrible mistake. They didn't attack though. Oh wow, we got rewarded. Oh wow, what just happened? Well, that was, that was something. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. So now the question is, I think we kill this guy. Yeah, I should have done it in response, but then they could have... Yeah, they were out of mana, so I actually shouldn't have done... I should have done it in response. I guess we just activate Mishra's Factory. One, two, activate, and then we still have two more mana to... So we're activating, playing Tithe Taker. Yeah, this seems fine. Like, let's get a little more aggressive, you know? Oh, fascinating. Oh, that's fantastic next turn. I definitely thought they would block. But they do have a factory. Good for them, you know? It's good to have, it's good to be industrious, you know? The amount of yelling at my phone I just did. That's too bad. Don't mess it up. This. What are you guys saying right now? I don't even know what's going on in the chat right now. Oh, are you saying when they equip? I gotcha. I gotcha. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Well, it taps them out. So, like, I think my concern was, like, I don't want them to re-equip. But then I was like, oh, wait, they're tapped out. So that, that's the only thing. Boy, they're really oh this is actually fantastic for us did they discard something what do they discard they sacked a creature but now I get a now I get a guy uh, yeah, that's fine. Do they think the Jitte has to be... This is great, because now we can block and deal with everything. And now they don't get the monarchy. Look at me, I am the monarch now.
Well, that is seven mana. We could play Cauldre Complete, but I think it's better to equip Jitte. Let's keep getting those counters and keep up Solitude. That seems like the rewarding play. I wonder if they're going to block Palace Jailer and be like, okay, we can get our guy back if we block Palace Jailer, because that's not how that works. They did not, in fact, think that. They're like, you know what? You're going to get counters anyway. Might as well just throw these guys away. All right, we have mitigated the threat of Andoral currently. Beans and cornbread. Oh, the one ring, eh? Fascinating. Well, that's pretty good. Look at these Lord of the Rings cards you're working with here. Well, I guess we're not attacking now. Do we just play this guy and just keep him out? Uh, okay. I think we still just keep Solitude up. And the reason being, if they have like Glorybringer or something, I don't really want to not have a way to deal with it because like losing the monarchy seems like a, a, a real quick quick way to lose this game when we're in very good position it's gonna be mana vault oh Lurus. it's actually pretty good i mean we just have tithe taker right now but i found three cards off the one ring after they tap it that's pretty good And then if they do it again next time, they've drawn six cards. Why is that okay? Inquisition. Well, there goes Luris. I mean, if you play something, I solitude it and then probably kill you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Plus this guy. Fire Covenant. Um, you know, just plus two plus. Sure. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. Yeah, every time. Uh, okay, so wait, we can just kill them here? Because we have this and this. Yeah, this this is just the end, right? Is this an instant? Why did you play it? That's fascinating. Let's everybody get in that red zone. Look at all these. 
unimpressive dirtles. Okay. Um, I don't think we want anything specifically. Nothing here has really blown my mind. Alesh Norn could be decent. They did seem to amass a bunch of tokens. And theoretically, we should have enough mana. We have Mox Emerald, Mana Vault. That should be nearly enough. That's, that's, that's plenty to get to eight, right? Let me take out Karmic Guide. Oh, finally, a Stoneforge Mystic. My kingdom for a Stoneforge Mystic. Actually, my kingdom for a Mox Emerald, so I can play that Stoneforge on turn one, you know? Also, did we see any... Oh, we saw Anduril, I guess. Are they playing Stoneforge just for Anduril? Because I don't think that's good enough. Hit him with a full bowl of Caldera complete. I did. Caldera. Yeah, they got. They not only got hit with it, they ate the whole thing. This is an interesting This is an interesting vampiric tutor to do during like your own turn. Especially like without knowing what you need to get or like what your opponent's doing. Nope. I knew we couldn't get a Mox. I knew it was too good to be true. But our curve is still very good so far. So here's the question. I think Jitte is better if they kill Stoneforge and Caldera completes better. Caldera complete. Caldera. Caldera completes better if they don't kill Stoneforge. Let's assume they're going to kill it because we have a bunch of good cards in our hand that can easily take the place of that big fat idiot. Yeah, okay. Man, with nothing, I really wish I got the cauldron complete. Now, what if we draw it? Yeah, but if they're if we're already doing that, like turn four, playing this, turn five, we're bringing it back. Like at that point, I I could just cast. Oh, look, look who it is! Wow, what a treat! Interesting. Well, we're definitely playing a land. Probably, definitely playing Mox. We could also just play Mox and equip here. Hmm, that's pretty decent, isn't it? Interesting. Created to two vigilant samurai. Well, we're definitely casting this right now. Yeah, this just feels correct. Getting Jitte rolling as quick as you can is really where you want to be. Dareti.
No blocks, huh? Excelente. Well, I think that's the first time we've drawn, we've drawn our mocks, so. So you have to sacrifice an artifact, huh? They're doing this jobby again? Oh, they didn't. Oh, interesting. I thought they were gonna activate Misha's factory in response, but they did not. I think we're actually just, I think, I don't, I think they're just not, they're just not that good. No offense. Okay, Pyrotic Ritual. Glory bear. Desperate ritual. Okay, so you basically spent these these each this is like this this is like exiling two simian spirit guides. Okay. I'm very fascinated. Why didn't you Huh? I guess that's fine. I don't understand anything that's happening right now. I mean, you could have just discarded those two and kept the Endoral in hand, right? And then drawn two. Am I losing my brain? Right? Like, you pay one more mana. But then you just discard these cards that did nothing, really. And then you get to keep this and... I don't know. Why cast them instead of discarding them? Why would you do that, huh? What? I was going to play this and like give it a plus one plus one counter, but right now I can just pump it once. What? Why would you double block here? What is going on? Someone explain to me what is happening. <laughs> I feel like I'm having a brain aneurysm. A brain aneurysm. What in the earth was that? Actually, maybe we just keep Wandering Emperor up. That feels correct. Because one thing I'm thinking is if they activate Mishra's factory and we go to kill it in response and then they tap it, then we can Wandering Emperor to exile it forever. That, that seems like it could be sweet. And like with nothing in the graveyard to cast at Sarah Paragon, like I don't want to really expose it. What? Corpse Dance? I'm so, f I'm so confused. Okay, so you discard your hand. Is it up to two? You have to discard two, right? Dothy, Voidwalker, and Inquisition. Okay. Well. I'm fascinated. Okay. Chrome Mox for no value. That is interesting. I guess they're just going to negative one to ready. 
Nice. Okay. I mean, we have Sarah Paragon still, so that's pretty... What? <laughs> what? Oh, they targeted their own Chrome Mox. That's hilarious. What is going on? This match is not going well, unfortunately. I mean, it's going fine for us. But the opponent... Goodbye. Uh, no blocks. The best part of Jitte is that you don't have to actually um, use it at the end of their turn. Like, you can just wait and go to your turn. You know? And that's, that's pretty cool. Well, we're definitely going to put a counter on... Oh, I guess we just win. Is this Vigilance? No, just First Strike. Okay. Well, that was a game. Actually, all right. Why are you being so poop negative? I'm just confirming. I don't want to be misleading to anyone, okay? I think we're going to go give her here. Like, unless we're going to crack the, the treasure on turn two, which I don't think we are. You guys are really doubting. Oh my god. Oh, wow, that was rude. Oh. Well, well, well. How big can I make this guy? Six, five, three? That pumps our guys twice? It's not bad. Oh, get a load of this guy. My favorite is, is the Mana Vault asking if you want to untap it. Well, we definitely have to kill Leovold, right? Do I want to tap Mana Vault or do I want to march? I think I want to march Exile Lauren for two. So this would cost two mana. And then we still have four for Intrepid Adversary. Uh, choose target. Bam. Exile you. Cast. One. Two. Done. You get to draw, that's fine. Okay. I mean, let's just hope they never have an answer for these guys, right? And then we can just nug their brains. Oh, that guy's that guy's a ra let's guy go a little rascal. I will not be untapping that. I will, however, be taking one dirty damage. Oh, all right, cool. And we have no we have a creature in our graveyard that can make this guy a three three. That's frustrating. Wait, no, they can't anymore. Haha. <laughs> ha. 
fantastic because of tithe taker so let's just get in there oh man it's too bad they didn't block thinking they could do it and then they try to activate and they can't activate and then we just get the free activation it's just everybody wins except for them only only we won yeah that guy's fine Mana Vault might as well say, add three mana to your mana pool. Take one damage for the rest of the game. Smart doing that on our turn. Or on, on your turn, I guess. Oh, baby. Well, butter my biscuits. Come on, little Gary. Man, one more mana would be nice here, but... I think we're doing okay. A never pooper. <laughs> Hashtag never pooper. Poop on hold. Make another beastie boy. A lot of these things I just don't care about that much. Here comes a time walk. No? Opposition. Well, I certainly wish I didn't exile my lore in here. No. I'm Gucci. Yeah, you got to tap that Thraby baby down. Attack your face, attack Gary. And why can't I, why can't I equip it instant speed? Oh, fascinating. Oh yeah, sack that waterlogged grove. It's fascinating. I guess that guy just taps something down. Boy, that scavenging ooze is getting sizable. Well, there's a lot of things we can cast. 
Let's see if we draw any of them. Not really, but kind of. Oh, we should have played this first, actually. Yep. I mean, is it worth playing it just as a 3-3 here? Probably. Oh, they didn't tap anything EOT. They didn't do anything. Uh, we're still not untapping there. One of these turns we'll be able to. Wow, this is... Steel Seraph is white. <laughs> Make sure they know. Uh, yeah, that's good. Who are we giving something to? This one. We'll give flying to this one so that all our guys are floaties. Except for... The one that has the jitte. Flying. I mean, you need to take six in the air here. Interesting. So they're going to block. I actually don't think it's worth it, to be honest. Like, it puts another guy in the graveyard, so they gain a life. Plus, they're just going to tap down whatever we put the Jitte on next turn. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the planes in hand because if if they want to activate their their curtains, they're more than welcome to. Yeah, that guy's pretty good. Double black card, huh? In your in your four color. This is interesting. You have main deck scavenging ooze, which needs a bunch of green sources. Double black card, double green card, double blue card. Red mana. Okay, interesting. I'm tempted to kill, kill the Grave Titan, but also forcing all their creatures to attack Gideon seems like it's really good. Yeah, let's make him tap, I guess. Show me them beautiful taps. Yeah, I think Gideon might just win us the game here.
vigilance. <laughs> okay. Oh, but then they make two zombies. And they get a play, so that's actually not entirely. We could just kill this, but then they still have four guys. Hmm. So we kill this. They can attack him for two. They still have two tappers. We could also just make them attack, but then they make two more zombies and this guy. Yeah, I think getting this guy off the board is probably more important right now. And they didn't eat it at the end of the turn. That's fascinating. Okay. Oh my God, these lands, dude. Oh, good. They're doing something great. Phenomenal. It's always good that you have a, that you do a creature that's an instant and a grave titan that gives you three bodies for your opposition. <sighs> the five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And they can just eat their grave titan. Yep, that's, that's the end. All right. Well, really glad I exiled Lauren. And then they played. Let's bring in Sagarda. One, two, three. Bring in Spara's headquarters. And two of these. It's one, two, three, four. You can probably get one more. I mean, giving all our other permanents hexproof seems pretty good. Jeez. Mm. Yeah, this hand's terrible. Uh, this hand is not that much better, but I'll keep it, I guess. We'll chip solitude. Cool. Well, that's going to be the end. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate the support. Check me out on YouTube, on Twitch, everywhere you get your news. Oh, nice little bird. Hey, a nice little noble hierarch. Yeah, March actually kills opposition as well, so. I 
Oh, Rob, you said mom. I was thinking like mother of ruins. I'm like, yeah, but that's been in there the whole time. Yeah, I was actually thinking after I after I hit okay, I was like, oh, maybe a Leshnorn's pretty good against them because obviously it kills everything they have. But alas, it was too late. Yep. Okay, well. I feel like they're not gonna block. I mean, we can we can give it. Yeah, let's just get in there and give it pro green. I feel like us dealing damage is a little more important than sitting back. Interesting lands to keep up here. Sure. Oh, Raging Ravine, eh? Fascinating. So I feel like I just exile Flicker Wisp to cast March here. Because uh, it's only two. This is interesting, because then we get to kill the Garrick here. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> All right. Well, that's not how that works because we have Tithe Taker. <laughs> so, no, no one taps for you. That was cute. They thought they get to kill, they get to keep their Garrick. Incorrect. Sure. I think they're just activating Ravine here. Yeah, that's great. I mean, eventually we can keep chump blocking and then getting our guys back with Sarah Paragon, so... And being able to keep up Giver of Runes after this is nice. So, fingers crossed that we can kind of crawl back in here. Mm. 
No blocks. I mean, they're also at 12, and we have three, four, five, six damage on board. Oh, interesting. They got something else. Oh, they're just cracking that. That I was not expecting. Oh, that's fascinating. I think we're going to crack this to see if we can hit a land because we don't actually have anything else to do. Yep, cool. That seems very good. Especially with Giver Up. Yeah, we're definitely just going to get Calder complete here. So they take four. Then we can block with Stone Forge. This becomes red and green, right? Cool. So we can just get them like pro green or pro red. Or we can just let it die <laughs> and get back Stone Forge with Sarah Paragon. Oh, well, that's interesting. I wonder if that's relevant. No, because they had a second black here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They, everything on their board produces mana. Ooh, no attacks. Well, that's pretty good. Oh, what up, Dillon Mace? I do remember that. I also... I also miss Robert. Can we just win if we attack with Sarah Paragon and give Phyrexian Germ Pro Green? Probably. It's got trample, right? Alright, cool. I mean I'm not gonna I'm not gonna risk it though, because they have three cards. I don't know what they are. Sure. Might as well play a land. Might as well, as the kids say. This feels like the end, right? Well, they could have just activated Raging Ravine to block here. Like, they had profitable blocks. They could have blocked 2-1 with 0-3, 1-2 with Raging Ravine. I don't know. Anyway, we won the game. Yeah, let's bring in the Norn. Norn it up. Take out Karmic Guide. I don't think Karmic Guide's very good here. In fact, it maybe maybe it should have been a Lesh Norn this whole time. The real Lesh Norn was the friends we made along the way, you know. I wonder if balance is good here too. Solemn Simulacra might be good. Is it better than any of the other four drops we have? I don't think so. I could see balance being good though. Maybe for Flicker Wisp? It's probably Giver of Runes over Mother. Yeah, let's take out Giver of Runes. Seems fine. Is this any good on the draw? Lurus into Palace Jail? Yeah, I'll keep it. We have like two turns to draw something that we can play, which is not terrible.
That is a thing. This is just an Alesh Norn deck. Oh, wow. Oh. Boy, that feels good. <laughs> that was a that was a hit right there, folks. Get completed on. And we have Luris to just keep oh, fuck it, rich get richer. Lucky, 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 lucky. <laughs> oh boy. Must be nice. Pretty tempted to just kill the Bob next turn. I don't think we need to have this this card engine on their on their side here. I just don't like that that's the only thing we're gonna do. Oh, maybe it's not. Interesting. What does that let us do? Still not much. Actually, we can just play Mana Vault and play Gideon and kill Bob. That seems really good. We can also Palace Jailer. No, I don't want them to get it back. Let's just Gideon. Because next turn we can untap and get a land. You know, our, our odds of playing Palace Jailer off of three lands is a lot a lot closer than our odds of playing five mana Gideon on turn three, so. Yeah, that was that was satisfying. Oh, it's little Gidgey. Okay. I'm going to say no, because I don't have the mana. Well, I was really hoping for a land there, but I guess that's... Uh, yeah, let's, let's just attack Gideon, or uh, Garrick, rather. Let's check out some Planeswalker on Planeswalker Hate Crimes. I feel like they're just going to throw the Wall of Roots in the way. Yeah, perfect. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Luris here. Because next turn we can play Stoneforge, and if we hit another land, um, well, we can just do a lot of things, really. <laughs> we can play Mother of Runes and Stoneforge. If we don't hit a land, we can play Palace... Or if we hit a land, we can play Palace Jailer. We can keep up the March if we, uh, if we just play Stoneforge, so... Oh, that's actually really good. Shoot. Wow, that's really good. They can play Dark Confidant. Wow, that's really good. That's depressingly good. It must be nice to have six mana. Wouldn't know much about that myself, but... Oh, really? Going face. No way am I blocking that.
That's pretty good. What does mom do here? <laughs> you talking about mother runes? So they have four creatures. Palace Jelly gets rid of one. Gideon makes it so they have to attack him. I kind of like that. We also get to keep up Solitude. I know you're talking about Norn, but we have four mana, so it's like <laughs> I have no idea what drawing a Lush Norn here would do. So I think we're just actually making them attack us. Because we can easily block Dark Confidant and a guy. He goes to three, but then we're like... We could also block here, make Gideon take five. Could also Solitude as well. Okay, that's good. If we hit another land, actually, I think we're doing... Kind of decently. Bird of Paradise. Okay. I don't care about that too much. When you're this behind, she can, you know what else catches me back up? Land. We have two instant speed cards, however, they are going to require us to pitch some things. Yeah, that's fine. I think they're going to activate that immediately? No, they're not. That's interesting. Oh, they might. They still might. Oh! Oh, they have to attack with Devoted Druid? That's fantastic. We just get to eat a Devoted Druid for free? Yes, please. No, that's not how that works. <laughs> no. You have to attack with it, champ. That's how the ability works. My god. Do I want to lose a Luris here? I actually don't think I care that much. I do want to keep Gideon alive, though. So Gideon goes to five here. Or one, rather. goes to one. That is worse. But I guess we just get to play Solitude. Is that good? I don't know. We could also block both here, but then we lose Gideon. I'll just block like this. We gain three life, too. So that's cool. I don't think I want to discard. I don't think I want to act, cast any of these things because we just, it's not worth the two for one. Yeah, that's what I figured. That was the obvious choice. Well, that's not super exciting. Oh, Sarah Paragon, though. That's that's very exciting. One, two, three, four, five. Well, we did not hit a land, so I guess we just go Sarah Paragon and... Mother of Runes here. That's pretty good. Um, I 
make them attack Gideon. Don't want to attack you though. All right. I mean, this is good blocks. Three, four here, two, two here. Yes, Paragon is very, very good for us right now. I concur. Of course, they hit another land. So we now have Birds of Paradise and two other cards. Okay. Bird and one. Is it an is it an opposition? No. Well, presumably not. Unless you untap both your lands and cast it. Okay, cycling that? Beautiful. They're also at four minutes, so I think we're in game three, though. Well, this guy's got menace, so we're just going to eat both of these guys. We lose a Gideon, but I think we've got a lot of value out of the Gideon, so... This is three or less, right? Okay, just checking. Nay. Okay, well, it's a lot of lands. One, two, three, four, five. We have six mana. We can play Lurus from the Dead. We can also stone forge for a jitte, equip jitte, and then start mowing down their gentlemen. That seems decent. Hello? This is Katie. So we can also Mother of Runes here. I want to make sure not to die, though. If we Mother of Runes here to get through, we kill the Garrick. Then the Jitte could kill these two. I think they'll become the Monarch for a moment. But I kind of also want to lure us to get back Stoneforge and not just get back Stoneforge. Yeah, let's do that, though. One, two. What the hell? Pro green. Attack Gary. Next time we can just cast Calder complete as well. And I think limiting their mana production is pretty good. All right, that seems like a good solid turn. One solid good turn deserves another. Sure. Good, but not great. I'll take six here. So we can actually put Culture Complete into play here and attack with a with like a billion.
That's fascinating. I feel like something's lagging on my computer right now, and I don't know what it is. Um... Uh, I do not think we can win here. We just don't have enough power on the board. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, we can deal a lot of damage. Equip Cauldra. Attack. It costs seven to equip, though. Equip with the Jitte? But then, like, the Jitte's over here, and you can only pump creatures that are equipped. I can't I can't attack with this guy and then pump her. Yeah, it only pumps the equipped. Don't don't be ridiculous. That being said, we are going to get in there. Jitte is a fairly new card. Yeah, you don't want to... You got to read it. It's got a lot of text. Yes, Cal Calder has haste. That is correct. I want to give them a chance to block with Leovold. But I think we're definitely killing him if if they don't, because I I want to draw my card from uh from from being the monarch. Adding a blue, so fairy, sure. That I don't care about at all. You're just not gonna block. Fascinating. Okay, so we're going to march. March all the way over to Leovold's house. Uh, exile Tithe Taker. That is selected, right? There we go. Cast. Uh, one. Two. Done. You get to draw. What? Okay, right? Is it resolve? No, okay, let it resolve. Recurring nightmare. Let's get rid of that thing. Oh, I guess I should have killed that guy before they did that. That would have been that would have been smart. Yeah, I, I forgot about that guy. There's a lot going on. I have four minutes on the clock and my stuff is lagging for some reason. So I'm trying to like, trying to balance a bunch of different thoughts in brain. I mean, they could sacrifice something... Really? Very aggressive. Guess we'll say pro green.
Congratulations, you're like you're a monarch. So we know they have freebooter in hand, and that's all we know. They have 50 seconds on the clock. I'm pretty sure this game's over. We can also just pump Jitte and gain two if we really need to. Sure. So this feels like a 2 1. Nope. Thank you. Oh, MTG Pyro, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Much appreciated. Um, I guess we're attacking with everything. I mean, both our flyers are lethal here. But, okay, we just win the game. <laughs> All right, 2-1. I'll take it. Not too bad. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam the buttons. Boop, 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 boop. The likes, the subscribes, whatever. Really, really great way to support the channel. And uh, I'll see you next time. Really appreciate you.